In this tutorial, we're going to design a ring wall foundation according with the American Petroleum Institute C fixed standard for a tank with a capacity of 17.5 thousand blue barrels. To have economic design, there is a non written rule for a large tank with limits the ratio of the height to diameter to 0.5. Taking in consideration this non written rule, we're going to try a tank with a diameter of 120 feet and height of 40 feet. The operation level is 38 feet and the test level is 39 feet. With these values, we proceed to calculate the weight of the tank and the fluid, assuming from the section 5.6.1.1 a shear thickness of 5 16th of inches based on the nominal diameter of the tank. The truth, this thickness must be calculated by the mechanical engineer based on the stress and plate material selected. The weight of the tank is calculated in three steps, the shell wall, the roof and the floor plate of the tank based on in dimensions. The results are in this table. The total weight of the tank is 488.79 kilo The weight of the crude oil is calculated for operational level and the weight at the S level for water based on the volumes of the tank and are summarized in this table. The next step is to calculate the seismic load that will be applied to the tank according with Appendix E of the American Petroleum Institute C fixed standard. For report analysis, we got the MAPS short and long spectral response acceleration parameters SS and S1, the design short and long spectral response acceleration parameters SDS and ST1 the long period transition period TL, and the site class in accordance with the American Society Civil Institute standard and from the American Petroleum Institute C fixed standard the use group was obtained from section E.3.1 the short and long period site coefficient FA and FB obtained from tables E1 and E2 respectively the importance factors I obtained from table E5 and the response modification factor Impulsive and convective RWI and RWC obtained from tables E4. With the data and the dimension of the tank, we proceed to calculate the slush imperial coefficient KS with the equation E4.5.2 and the C, resulting in 0 0.63, and the convective slush imperial TC with the equation E4.5.2 and B, resulting in 6.9 seconds. Now, we calculate the impulsive spectral acceleration parameters AI with the equation E4.6.1 in this one, resulting in 0 0.252. The next step is calculate the convective spectral acceleration parameters AC with the equation E4.6.1 in this four, where K is a coefficient to adjust the spectral acceleration from 5% to 0.5% and is equal to 1.5, resulting in 0.05. Now we calculate the effective impulsive weight Wi with the equation E6.1.1 and thus 1, where Wp is the weight of the product stored at operational level, resulting in 8,885.69 kilopounds. Now we calculate the effective convective weight Wc with the equation E6.1.1 and that's 3, resulting in 30,539.34 kilopounds. The next step is calculate the lateral force due to impulsive spectral acceleration parameters Pi with the equation E6.1 and that's 2, where Ws is the weight of the shell, Wr is the weight of the roof, Wf is the weight of the floor giving a result of 2,361.9 kPa. The next step is calculate the lateral force due to the convective spectral acceleration parameters Bc with the equation E6.1 in dash 3, giving a result of 676.8 kPa. Finally, we calculate the seismic pressure defined as the square root of the sum of the squares with equation E6.1 and dash 1, resulting in 
and 56.96 kilopounds. This value, as we sure, is based on the American Society civil engine standards, which works with the low resistance factor design method, and the American Petroleum Institute 650 standards works with the allowed stress design methods, which means that this value must be converted to work properly with the American Petroleum Institute 650 standards. This is done by multiplying the results by 0.7. The final value for the base share is 1719.87 kilopounds. With this conclude the first part of this tutorial.